Welcome to your Kenworth driver training, where we'll take a quick look at the key features and benefits of your brand new K220 Kenworth. Let's learn about the multimedia device and how to Bluetooth your phone. The infotainment system incorporates radio, phone, heavy vehicle navigation, auxiliary music, and applications all into the one system. Connecting your smartphone to the multimedia device can be done either by using Bluetooth or phone projection. Bluetooth pairing. Make sure your phone is visible to other devices and Bluetooth is turned on. Then select device at the bottom left of the screen. Touch the plus icon to search for available devices. Then select your device from the list, followed by the pair function on the left hand side of the screen. Accept the pair prompt on both the device and your smartphone and allow the necessary permissions to complete the pairing action. Wireless phone projection. Once successfully paired to the device, turn on the Use Wireless to access wireless phone projection. This will allow you to access your apps on your iPhone or Android phone. To access your smartphone screen, touch the phone projection icon on the app tray on the left hand side of the home screen. To set and adjust the volume levels, simply rotate the volume control. The volume controls on the steering wheel will also adjust the settings once the selection source has been made. This button will select the radio inputs. You can then select DAB+, FM or AM radio stations near the top of the screen. To display all available stations, touch the list icon and they will be displayed at the bottom of the screen. To store a displayed station, touch the save button at the bottom of the main screen. Inside the radio menu, FM and AM can be accessed by touching the respective tabs. Stations can be auto-tuned and saved by touching the auto store icon or fine-tuned manually by touching the left or right arrow on either side of the frequency displayed. Media screen can be accessed by touching the media icon in the home screen app tray. This screen allows you to manage media from your plugged-in storage device and to wirelessly play audio from your phone via Bluetooth streaming. Switching between media storage and Bluetooth streaming can be done touching USB or BT music tabs at the top. App screen containing preloaded apps can be launched by touching the four tile icon in the home screen app tray. Within the app screen, arrows on either side of the screen can be used to toggle between the app screen pages. Long press on any of the apps to remove the app, or touch the plus symbol to bring back the apps from the app screen from the preloaded list according to the user's preference. Six cameras can be connected and managed inside the device. The multimedia screen doubles as a display screen for the cameras. For camera setup and their activation, go to the camera setup menu by touching the setup button, followed by the camera. Inside the camera setup menu, any connected camera can be assigned to four triggered actions, left or right indicator, hazards or reverse. Each trigger function can be assigned to more than one camera depending on the user's preference. If more than one camera has the same trigger activation, the screen will split and display both inputs. If one of these screens needs more focus, the driver can touch that screen and the input will be changed to a full screen display. All connected cameras can be viewed on the single screen by pressing the physical cam button on the bottom. The navigation app can be accessed by pressing the physical nav button. When using navigation for the first time, the configuration wizard will initialize automatically and the user can then select the preferred language, review the license agreement, set up voice guidance, select the desired units of measurement, time formats, and set route preferences. To start navigation, go to the main menu by touching the button on the bottom right corner and then click new route. The user can search for new addresses, select from the already saved addresses, or choose from the quick search categories. Touching the setup button at the top right corner of any screen will give access to the systems menu. This window allows you to access radio, navigation, Bluetooth, audio, video, camera, system settings, and the user guide. The unit's firmware and navigation software can be updated over the air, or OTA. The OTA requires access to a Wi-Fi network. To update the unit's firmware or navigation software, connect the device to a Wi-Fi network, go to the setup menu, scroll down and touch the systems tab. Inside the systems tab, select OTA update to start the process. Pressing the volume button will mute the volume. Holding down the home button for two seconds will make the screen dark, a very handy feature at night time. Simply tap the screen to wake it again. There is a system reset button located here. A gentle press will reset the unit to factory default settings. 
The internal microphone for phone calls is located here. For more details, consult your operator's handbook or call into your local dealership.